Carbon App Migrate helps you move data from one public cloud, such as AWS, to another, such as Azure. Here's how that works. With the storage account already created in Azure, you can initiate the migration from the Carbon App Migration dashboard. Once you're logged into the dashboard, you can see an overview of your environments. Start by adding the source and target cloud environments and credentials for the cloud providers you're using. Once you've added the cloud environments, the next step is to discover the servers you wish to migrate. These servers are new, so use the login credentials to perform a new discovery. In a few moments, the servers will appear in the list under the Servers tab. Initially, you'll be asked to update the credentials to validate the servers. With the servers you want to migrate selected, you can create a migration job. Enter a group name and specify the target environment and target location. The servers you want to migrate will appear on the migration page. Next, define how the target name will show up. For migrating to Azure, you'll be asked to provide a service name. You can also specify a VM size. You can size up, size down, or select a template. At the conclusion of the setup, the job will appear under the Migrations tab. The actions taking place at this point are detailed under View Log. The primary activity is the creation of the target server instance for each of the two servers. Back in Azure, you can see the resources starting to be built. You can also monitor this activity on the Carbonate Migration Details page under the Progress tab. Each machine under your group will have its own activity log. In Azure, you can see both servers being created based on the criteria specified in the job setup. As the Migration Engine agent is pushed to the target and the source, and the license is activated, there's no impact on the source server. Once the connection is confirmed, synchronization between the source and target begins. You can log into the source while synchronization is proceeding and change some data, like adding a file for instance. Once the baseline synchronization is complete, the servers are ready for cutover. Back at the source, you can continue to make changes after the baseline synchronization is complete. You never have to resync between the source and target prior to cutting over. This greatly reduces the time it takes to perform your migration. At any point, you can now cut over. The time it takes to cut over to the target is your total downtime, and it should take only a few moments. Back in the AWS console, you can see the migration job has triggered the shutdown of the source server. During cutover, the target assumes the identity of the source. You can now connect to the target and see the two new files added, one during and one after the baseline synchronization. That's all you have to do to move a server from one cloud location to another using Carbonite Migrate. Thanks for watching.